Lesson 3e, mutations. Recall, the functionality of a protein depends on its final shape and structure of the protein, which is greatly determined by its amino acid sequence. This video reminds us of how DNA is transcribed into mRNA. This animation demonstrates how the digital information encoded within DNA is used to direct protein synthesis. This is a DNA double helix containing the digital code which directs the cell in all aspects of operation. And here we see a protein complex called an RNA polymerase traveling down the DNA strand. As it moves down the strand, it carefully unwinds the DNA, preparing it for transcription. Inside the polymerase, we see a single-stranded copy of the original instructions being assembled as individual bases are positioned and added to the growing strand. A stop code marks the end of the protein specification, at which point this copy, known as a messenger RNA transcript, exits the polymerase and heads towards a two-part chemical manufacturing machine called the ribosome. While the messenger RNA moves towards the ribosome, transfer RNA molecules attach to specific amino acids in preparation for assembly. As the messenger RNA transcript passes through the ribosome, the process of translation begins. Using the instructions encoded on the messenger RNA as a template, the transfer RNA molecules align specific sequences of bases to corresponding amino acids, creating a protein chain. As this chain exits the ribosome, it is met by chaperones which prevent premature folding while escorting the protein to a barrel-shaped machine called a chaperonin. This machine helps fold the protein into the precise shape required to perform its function. Although it is unclear how the chaperonin achieves this, we do know that accurate folding is essential in order for the protein to accomplish its intended function. Once the protein is complete, it is released into the cytoplasm to do its job. If there is any change to the amino acid sequence, the final folding and the shape of the protein may result in the protein functioning abnormally. As dire as the word mutation sounds, the end result of the abnormal gene and subsequently the abnormal protein may actually function better, or worse, or exactly the same as before. This is the root of evolution, minor changes in the DNA of an organism that survives the tests of nature and, if it's successful, is passed on to later generations or offspring. An example of a negative mutation is sickle cell anemia, where red blood cells take on a sickle shape and do not carry oxygen well, therefore harming the organism. An example of a neutral mutation is the attached or unattached earlobes of humans. This change neither is beneficial or detrimental to the species' survival. An example of a positive mutation would be the opposable thumb of humans, which allows for strength as well as precision grips of instruments. This has permitted humans to become more competitive. Mutations can occur in DNA in a few ways, such as errors during DNA replication. These are errors in DNA sequences as the DNA is copied for cell division. The DNA making up chromosomes counts in the millions, so it is expected that there are some errors in copying. However, the proofreading mechanism of DNA polymerase keeps this overall error rate at 1 in 100 million base pairs. This video shows how DNA polymerase proofreads as it goes. One out of every 100,000 to 1 million bases attached to the 3' prime end of a growing DNA chain will be a mismatch, improperly base pairing with the complementary strand. When such a mismatch occurs, DNA chain elongation generally pauses. This pause allows spontaneous melting of the end of the DNA strand being synthesized, freeing the 3' prime end with the mismatched base to enter a 3' prime exonuclease site on the DNA polymerase. The exonuclease site catalyzes the removal of several nucleotides from the 3' prime end of the growing strand. Only the removal of the nucleotide carrying the mismatched base is shown here, though additional nucleotides would actually be removed. Following removal in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction, DNA polymerase can then resume its synthesis activity in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The proofreading function reduces the overall error rate to as low as about 1 in 100 million for DNA polymerase 3. Mutagens are chemicals and sources of energy like radiation that can cause mutations in DNA. Chemical mutagens are called carcinogens and include things like tar and tobacco. 
Energy, like UV light and X-rays, are also strong mutagens, but are not classified as carcinogens as they are not chemicals. Transposons are another process that may disrupt the DNA of an organism. These are pieces of foreign DNA that are often carried by viruses that may jump in and out of chromosomes of their host. We see this in purple corn, where the yellow corn gene jumps in and out of corn kernels, resulting in their varied purple and yellow coloration. Transposons are segments of DNA that are capable of shifting from one location to another. A transposon enters the cell by being carried on a plasmid. A transposon can then move from the plasmid into the host cell genome. A transposon can move from one site on the host genome to another site on the host genome. When some transposons move, they replicate, leaving a copy in the original position. A transposon can also move from the host genome to a plasmid. 